Hi guys, welcome back. It's Hello. time for our next little recipe tutorial. This time for Ghost of Thornton Hall. Now, um, if you've been watching any of these videos by now, you probably know that we were more than a little bit motivated by the menus that you come across in this game, namely the wedding menu for Colton and Jessalyn's wedding. Although he wasn't exactly thrilled as he says why are you gonna make food that people have to appreciate but I happen to like food yeah. that, that you have to appreciate it's it makes the experience more fun so of course today we are going to be doing the chilled strawberry soup in the balsamic clouded ice bowl so let's talk ice bowls I'm not exactly the most coordinated person in the world so we will not be etching these as the wedding ones were plus we're not actually doing one for a wedding right now but we're still making an ice bowl so for that you're gonna want two bowls in different sizes and you're gonna pour some water in your larger bowl nest your smaller one on top of that you can add some water to that as you see to help weigh it down and then fill the sides in as needed then you'll take two pieces of tape and use those to anchor the center bowl in position so you'll put a piece of tape on each side and use that to hold it evenly in the middle anyway we have one of these ready but we just took it out of the freezer it's frozen in there pretty well so we're gonna let this sit at room temperature until it loosens up and we can take the bowl out without breaking it anyway once you've safely made your ice bowl and gotten it out without breaking it you're gonna end up with something that looks that's so cute like this you can see this one has like a little crack running across the side because I was trying to flash thaw the bowl it was in to get it out and it started cracking. That was why I said it's important to let it come to room temperature for at least 5-10 minutes so that just enough water melts you can get it out. But here is our little bowl. It is still watertight, it just started to get a crack They're in the so middle. They're so cute, oh my word. So we're going to set these aside while we make our strawberry soup. First things first. We have one bag of strawberries. This is a one pound bag. However, the last bag we got for a different recipe was a 14 ounce one. Anything in the 14 to 16 ounce size range will work for this. And we've let this sit at room temperature for about 20, 30 minutes so that it has started to soften a little bit. It'll be easier to blend up, but it's still nice and cold. So you want these about semi-frozen. We're gonna take our one pound of strawberries and throw them in a blender. Then we're going to add half of a cup of vanilla flavored yogurt. And then you'll want half of a cup of heavy cream. Since frozen strawberries most of the time are not exactly the sweetest strawberries you can get. We're also going to add a quarter cup of sugar to this. If you happen to get in-season strawberries that you froze, then you can probably leave the sugar out. It's up to you. And then you'll want one teaspoon of either lemon or lime juice. We have lemon today. And we're going to blend this up until it's mostly smooth, but we're not going to worry about it getting 100% smooth smooth. It's okay if there's some little strawberry chunks going on. I actually got carried away. I was gonna save two or three strawberries and slice them up to spread, to lay on top of the soup to make it look pretty. I would recommend doing that, but um, I went ahead and threw them all in here. We don't have any nice ones saved. So I'm gonna take a few mint leaves and just garnish our little bowls with them. So that's it for the soup itself. But if you look at the menu, it does say that it's served in balsamic clouded ice. So for that, we're gonna take a bottle of balsamic vinegar and we're just gonna take a very small drizzle, a couple of drops, dribble that into one of our ice bowls and rotate it to just very thinly coat the inside of the bowl. I'm 
and then we're gonna serve this up. Look how cute that is. You can see it through it. It's sliding all over my plate. That's exciting. Let's give it a try. Very Yum. summery. Yes. Let me try to get a little bit from the rim where there's some balsamic vinegar and see how that I got is. like a little. And since you've already got like your lemon juice, the sourness mm. from the vinegar, it's it, it works. Yeah. I wouldn't really add a full and drizzle, a full teaspoon to the actual batch, but if you're just drizzling a little of this around the bowl, it's definitely not going to mess up the flavor. I think it's good. Yeah. Because they actually got a fair amount of balsamic vinegar in that spoonful there, and it was still really good. Halton's all like, <sighs> but in reality, he's being so snobby about a smoothie bowl <laughs> because it's served in ice. True. Quite delicious. I approve. I would probably go to a wedding if they were serving this. Can you imagine how long it would take to make? ice bowls for everyone at a wedding to eat out of. So we haven't really said much about how this tastes other than so good. that the balsamic vinegar doesn't overpower it. It's like strawberry yogurt. It just tastes like strawberry yogurt. Mm -hmm. But without being quite so overpoweringly sweet because it's more strawberries and it's also got that heavy cream in there. Mm -hmm. It makes it a little bit well, so nicer. Like it's not quite as thick as yogurt. It's more like a soup. Mm -hmm. Which is why it is strong. And if this sets soup. at room temperature for long, then it's going to continue to thin down even more and be more soup like. I think this is a pretty good consistency here, though. Mm -hmm. And your whipped cream will probably hold a little thickness because it was mixed. Okay, so I just got a mint leaf there. Very, very good. So, if you pick any of our recipes just for the sake of being dramatic and extra, do this one. It takes no cooking skill. <laughs> All you have to do is wait a day or so for your ice bowls to chill and have patience for them at room temperature because otherwise you will crack a few getting them out if you try to speed the process up. But if you have some time to kill, do this one. It's definitely a drama piece. I must try. Right. Any final thoughts before we go? Ice bowls. Ice bowls. Do try it. Them. You will not regret it after the first two or three that you ruined me because I did that as well. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to very much enjoy finishing this up here. Let us know if you try it, how that goes, how many ice bowls you ruin before you get some good ones because um, these are not the first two that I made. And we'll see you all next week with another recipe. Bye guys. Bye.